Most of us confessed cinephiles are familiar with the balcony scene and Norman Desmond's closing lines in one of Hollywood's greatest films. you all how happy I am to be back in the studio making a picture again. You don't know how much I've missed all of you. And I promise you I'll never desert you again. Because after Salome, we'll make another picture and another picture. You see, this is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else. Just us. And the cameras. And those wonderful people out there in the dark. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Here's a scan of the original screenplay, Sunset Boulevard, written by Charles Brackett, Billy Wilder, and D.M. Marshman, Jr. It's dated March 21st, 1949, which is just two years and two months after the brutal murder of Elizabeth Black Dahlia Short. Uh, they describe the scene between Artie Green, who's played by Jack Webb, and Joe Gillis, of course, as William Holden. Uh, Artie Green's apartment described as, it's the most modest one-room affair, jam-packed with young people, flowing over into the miniature bathroom and the microscopic kitchenette. The only drink being served is punch from a pressed glass bowl, but everybody is having a hell of a time. Most of the men are in slacks and sweaters, and only a few of the girls in something that vaguely suggests party dresses. In the scene that follows, screenwriter Joe Gillis, William Holden, has just arrived at a New Year's Eve party and is greeted by his friend and fellow writer Artie Green, who's played by Jack Webb. Well, shortly after the Webb will shortly after this performance become LAPD Sergeant Joe Just the Facts Friday, and a close friend and drinking buddy to LAPD Chief and Detectives Thad Brown. Brown will become Webb's technical advisor to the long-running television series Dragnet. Chief Brown, before his death in 1971, would inform Webb in a confidential conversation that, quote, the Black Dahlia murder was solved. It was a doctor in Hollywood who lived on Franklin Avenue, end quote. Of course, eventually we would get the secret DA files and discover and verify, in fact, that was Dr. George Hill Hodell. But getting uh, back to Sunset Boulevard, how many know that just two years after the brutal, real-life surgical torture murder of Elizabeth Black Dahlia Short on January 15, 1947, that her crime would become a laugh line in a scene in one of Hollywood's greatest films? Here's the clip from that scene. Well, you've been keeping that gorgeous face of yours. In a deep freeze. I almost reported you to the Bureau of Missing Persons. Fans, you all know Joe Gillis, the well-known screenwriter, uranium smuggler, Black Dahlia suspect. <laughs> In the you-can't-make-this-stuff-up irony department, at the exact same time, February and March of 1950, the Dr. George Hill Hodell was under active surveillance and being secretly tape-recorded by detectives from the LAPD and DA's office as the prime suspect in the Black Dally investigation. Director Billy Wilder is just one mile away from Dr. Hodell's Soden Franklin house, shooting the final Hollywood location scenes for what will become one of Hollywood's greatest films, Sunset Boulevard. 
The film was released in August 1950, received 11 Academy Award nominations, and three wins. The handwritten report on the left is an official LAPD police report on the installation of the bugging tapes at the Franklin House. Uh, I'll read from it. Case number 30-1268. The date is February 27, 1950. Titled Short Elizabeth. Suspect Dr. George Hill. That would be George Hill Odell. Assigned Investigator Jemison. Charge murder. Case is active. Brief statement as to the results to date. Quote, on February 15, 1950, the undersigned investigator, working with Sergeants Stanton and Guinness from LAPD Crime Lab, installed two microphones in the home of Dr. George Hodell. The microphones were connected to a wire recorder located in the basement of the Hollywood station of the LAPD through telephone lines leased from Pactel and Tell Company. Trouble was experienced with both the equipment installed in Hodell's home and with the telephone lines. This trouble was not rectified until approximately 2 p.m. on February 18th. No intelligible conversation was heard over the system. This is a map of the Hollywood area. The stars in black are filming locations, shooting locations for the actual film Sunset Boulevard in February, March 1950. Uh, we see them designated as the Paramount Studios location, the Getty Mansion where Norma Desmond's home was shot, Schwab's drugstore, and Joe Gillis's apartment on uh, right off of Franklin Avenue. The stars in red are actual Black Dahlia investigation, February, March 1950, simultaneous to the shooting. We see the Franklin, the Soden residence, George Hodell's residence at that time. We see Elizabeth Short's old apartment in 1940, in 1946, she lived there. We see Man Ray's apartment, the surrealist photographer, family photographer of George Hodell. And we see Hollywood Station, where they were actually conducting the ongoing surveillance uh, for 8 by 18 detectives 24-7 for 42 days where they received the damning statements and admissions from Dr. Odell as to committing numerous crimes including the Dahlia and the murder of his secretary.